a gypsy dominant seventh power voicing. I'm Robin Nolan and in this series of videos I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar and Dean wrote in on the YouTube channel here and was asking for some powerful gypsy voicings for a dominant seventh and there's one immediately which sprung to mind which I want to show you now and uh, the voicing is this so if you play it in E7 then it sounds like this good thing about this voicing is that it's uh, it's really wide and it really kind of crunches home the fact that the chord that you're in E7 you know it's kind of you've got E7 there but this one's kind of somehow more complete and kind of go because you've got the, the root also in the uh, the pinky there on the top of the chord and you've got the root in the bottom in the bottom E there so First we'll learn the voicing, so it's uh, in E, it's, you've got the bottom E there, then you've got G sharp, D, F sharp, B, E. Those, those last two notes are barred there, so. So you've got G sharp, D, F sharp, so that's 11th fret on the A string, 12th fret on the, on the D string, 11th fret on the uh, G string, 12th fret on the B and E string there. So that's E7. We know it's E7 because uh, there's the third and there's the root on top. So for playing A7, you've got the C sharp there, the third of A, so there's the A7. You've got the seventh there. Uh, but you know, forget about all the theory and the, just, just hear that sound, hear how great it sounds, you know. For A7, it just sounds great. And then, so once you've learned the voicing, so there's E7, there's A7 on the third fret, fourth fret. D7 would be here. You've got the D in the, in, in the pinky there on top. You've got the third in the first finger. Yeah. So if I take it for a spin round, Sweet Georgia Brown. And this chord works in, in two ways. You can use it in your solo, so you go. You know, or you can use it another a good opportunity to use this chord is when there's another soloist in the band, so some guy playing fiddle or another guitar solo, and to kind of, uh, when you've got a rhythm guitar there, but you're kind of doing some comping, kind of like adding some tension to the music, it's nice to be able to kind of put these stabs in with this voicing. So Sweet Georgia Brown um, would sound like this. So look. So there's lots of, you know, lots of different ways rhythmically you can do it, but even just go. All these kind of ideas. If you listen to later Django, you know, when he's, uh, when he's comping behind, you know, one of the clarinet players, he's using these kind of voices and he wants to sound like a big band, you know, so it does sound, it's got all of, all the, components of a big band, if you add the rhythmic drive to it and those stabs, uh, then it really does give a really great, great effect. You know? So when you do it, you've got to be really confident with your right hand, you know, when you into the swing there, you've got to really just, really be, just stab it out there, you know, and bang, don't be, you know, don't be afraid of being loud. It's like, it sounds great. So those voices, uh, that's why I call it like a gypsy power voicing. You know, you got like the heavy metal is a power root fifth, but this is kind of, it's wide, it's open, it's definitely E and it sounds great. So there's your gypsy power voicing. Um, hope you enjoyed that video and um, you know, try it out at the next jam. That's what it's all about. If you've got a question too, then don't uh, hesitate. Send me an email at questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com. I'd love to uh, help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a like. I'll be back in a video real soon. Hey, it's Robin. Did you like that lesson? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey into gypsy jazz. Number one, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel 
And I hope you do because every week I can send you a new video answering your questions into Gypsy Jazz Guitar Playing. Number two, you can download your free issue of Gypsy Jazz Guitar Secrets magazine and you can do that by clicking here or going to gypsyjazzsecrets.com. And number three, you can check out my Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club and you can do that by going here, clicking on the button or go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. So if you'd like to do any of that, just click on these buttons and I look forward to seeing you in another video really soon.